Austin right now and a few people are out enjoying the warm weather. We're sitting at 82 degrees at the coast. Dew point though up in the 70s. So of course it feels just a little bit warmer right now with the feel like temperature at 89 degrees. We're staying dry towards the coast right now. We are still tracking a few showers and thunderstorms once again, mainly sticking inland and towards our low country areas. That'll be the trend throughout the evening. And if we do see any strong storms for tonight, they'll be mainly before sunset and we could see some gusty winds and heavy downpours with that. Now we're still keeping a close eye on those thunderstorms moving through tombs, but they have weakened a little bit. No more rotation with that. So we are in the clear and we don't have any severe worn storms for the moment. Feel like temperatures across the area still pretty steamy out there, feeling like 96 in Savannah, 90 in Hilton Head. As we move inland, those areas that saw some rain and had some relief feel like they're in the 80s for the moment. So 87 in Reedsville and 85 in Vidalia. As we continue to go through the night, once again, we could see some spotty thunderstorms out there heading overnight though we dry out for a little bit and then we could see some showers mainly sticking east of I 95 that'll put us at 75 degrees and as we head into your Saturday morning it'll be a dry start to the day mostly cloudy skies back in the forecast and we'll start off around 72 degrees though heading into the afternoon it'll be warm once again back in the upper 80s Tybee tomorrow at 83 degrees Hampton at 86 here in Savannah will top off at 89 Midway at 88 and Alma will be at 89 as well now we do have a 20 percent chance for some isolated showers for your Saturday. The majority of the day should stay dry, so if you have any outdoor plans, you should be good to go. We'll see this 20% chance of rain mainly through those afternoon hours and then drying out by the evening. So if you do plan maybe on hitting the beach tomorrow to be a great day for it. We do have winds out of the southeast once again at 15 to 20 miles per hour. That'll make it just a little bit humid out there. The rip current lit rip current risk will remain on that low side, but remember to put on some sunscreen. The hazard for tomorrow will be the UVs and they'll be on the high side for the beach. Now rain chances for the next few days. Once we get through Saturday, you might need the umbrella on standby. We start to see those rain chances ramp up a little bit. Sunday does have a 30% chance of rain to end the weekend. Heading into Monday, that'll be our greatest chance of rain at 40%. And then we slowly start to dry out heading into about midweek. So your certified most accurate forecast for the next few days. Once again, 89 degrees for Saturday, 20% chance of rain heading into Sunday. We'll stick to those upper 80s. We still need that umbrella heading into the work week. We start to see temperatures drop closer to average for this time of the year, and then we start to see a change heading into about next Thursday. We do have another cold front coming through. That'll bring us sunshine in the forecast, and we do start to dry out, and then we'll see those temperatures take a drop once again, dropping to about 78 degrees on Thursday, and then we'll stick to those 70s heading into